Welcome back. We're starting with part one of graphing functions. In this section, our objectives will be graphing functions by plotting points and using the graphing calculator, effectively using the vertical line test and knowing when it is useful, and identifying basic function shapes from a function or a graph of the function. Let's look at part one, which is graphs of functions. If f is a function with domain a, when the graph of f is the set of ordered pairs, we get this set notation here, and I am not going to be requiring set notation for most of this quarter. However, it is helpful to understand how you would read this. This would be read as the set where you have x and then, or the input, and then the output, f of x, such that x is an element of a, where a is your domain, plotted in coordinate form. In other words, the graph of f is the set of all the points x, y, such that y is f of, equals f of x, and that is the graph of f is the graph of the equation, y equals f of x. The graph of a function f gives a picture of the behavior of the function. We can read the values of f of x from the graph as being the height of the graph above or below the point x. So the curve can go either above the x-axis or below the x-axis. The x values or the horizontal values will then tell you where the, the outputs, the range values exist, either above or below or on the x-axis. Looking at the graph, so I am going to find on the graph at right, I am going to find negative 9. At negative 9, I just put a blue dot there, the curve actually crosses the x-axis, and so my output is zero. My range is zero, because the graph, the curve, is crossing the x-axis at negative nine. Now I'm going to find my input, which is x equals four. I'm going to put a dot at four and then I'm going to trace it either up or down to the curve. And if I look at where it crosses or touches the curve, that's at negative one. And so my output, my range value for f of four is negative one. Now notice that the next question says find f of x equal to three. This is not saying the same thing as before. This three is my output, not my input. Just like on the other ones, the zero was an output or a range value. The negative one was an output or a range value. And the three is an output or a range value. That being said, I need to find three as an output. I'm going to highlight that line on the graph at y equals three. So it is this value of y equals three that I'm interested in. If I trace that along all the way across, I can clearly identify three values of x or inputs that would give me y equals three. So I would say f of negative eight equals three, f of negative five equals three, and finally, f of nine equals three. Another way I could write this is x equals negative 8, negative 5, and 9. 
those are the three inputs that will give me three as an output or a range value.